Sophomore free safety from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Francis Monk Bonasorte. Number 24, senior cornerback from Waukegan, Illinois, Mike Kincaid. Number 78, the offensive captain, a tackle from Albany, Georgia, Nate Henderson. And the head coach of the Seminoles is Bobby Bowden. So there are the starting defenses for Navy and Florida State. The opening coin toss is going on right now. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. The opening kickoff, so it will be the Florida State offense behind quarterback Wally Woodham, which will get the football first. Navy will be kicking off, and the Navy defense will be on the line. It's a defense which was so exceptional through the first seven games in the season, climaxing with that outstanding performance in which they held Pittsburgh, pretty good running football team, to minus 28 yards rushing. But then Notre Dame bent and broke the Navy defense in that 27-7 victory in Cleveland. And Coach George Welsh worries at this point in the season, Steve Davis, that his team may be getting a little bit tired with the academic grind taking its toll along with the football season. Well, the football season is a very long campaign, Jim. It takes a lot out of you. And, and really, Navy, the type of football team that they are, and because they are a service academy, they really don't get time to rest. Those guys are up every morning at 6.30, and it's an amazing uh, feat that they can, week after week, get ready for the big game. Deep to receive for Florida State. That is number 27, Michael Whiting, a reserve running back. He is at the right of your screen, the middle deep man for FSU. The kicker is number 10, Bob Tatum, a senior kicker from Virginia Beach. And Tatum, who's only 5 feet 8 inches tall, gets the kick to number 48, Mark Lyles. Lyles, the fullback, met and stopped at about the 20-yard line, 11-yard return, and Florida State will begin the offense from right there at the 20. Now here is a look at the faces of the wide receivers and the offensive backs for Florida State. The first man you saw was Kurt Unglaub, a wide receiver. There's Sam Platt, the deep threat of whom we've spoken. Sam Childers, a freshman, starting at tight end in place of the injured Grady King. Lyles, the fullback from Buffalo, New York, a big man at 226. Holmes Johnson, a sophomore tailback. We'll tell you about him later. And another look at Wally Woodham, the quarterback. Woodham up under center. The give is to Holmes Johnson. And Johnson, going against that tough Navy rushing defense, is met and dropped for about a half-yard loss. A.B. Miller, number 78, the nose guard for Navy, was there to make the stop. There's a look at the offensive line of Florida State. The strongest blocker along that line is Ken Lanier, the quick side tackle. He is the man they will go behind in short yardage situations. There's the Navy defensive line. Merrill, a tackle, is the key to the play along that defensive line for the midshipmen. Draw play, give to Johnson. This time he's got four or five yards fighting out across the 25 near the 26. It will be a third down situation from there. As Florida State comes out running, Johnson picks up six yards on second down. There are the linebackers for Navy, Puck and Migas today. Migas is hurt starting in his place. Ted Dumbald, number 69, a sophomore from Troy, Ohio. And the defensive backs, the interesting man there, number 66, Charlie Myers, a former nose guard, moved to cornerback after some injuries in the secondary early in the season. Third and five, Woodham looking for receivers in the flat. Overthrows. He was looking for Holmes Johnson. Johnson cut inside. Woodham threw outside. The Navy defense gave them nothing on third down. That's the best pass defense against Florida State. Put the pressure on the quarterback, force him out of the pocket, Make him throw the football on the run. They do not like to throw on the run. The punter for Florida State is number three, Ron Stark. And deep to receive is number 89, Sandy Jones. He replaces McConkey as the punt returner for Navy. There's a look at Ron Stark, freshman punter from 50 Lakes, Minnesota, averaging just under 40 yards a kick. The left-footed kick, high spiraling at the 31-yard line, Sandy Jones. And he is wrapped up as he gets to about the 35. Jarvis Corsi, a defensive end, downfield to make the stop. He's number 64. Here are the faces of the Florida State, I mean the Navy wide receivers and offensive backs. That's Papa John, who starts at split end in place of McConkey. Sandy Jones, the other wide receiver. Carl Hendershot, the tight end, starting in place of Kurt Gaynor, who has a hip pointer today. Tolbert, the fullback, starting in place of Flowinski. Sherlock, the tailback, starting in place of Callahan. And one of the few regulars in there in this triple day for Navy, Bob Lushinsky, the quarterback. This is Sherlock with the football, and he has about three around the right side before number 21, Bobby Butler, came up to upend him. It will be second down and seven for the midshipmen. There's the Navy offensive line, the man they like to run behind. 
But the right side tackle or McAllister, the left side guard. McAllister, a transfer from North Carolina, is the strongest of those offensive linemen. Papa John is split to the top of your screen. The tight end, Hendershot, on the right. The give is to Sherlock. This time he's met and wrapped up. Number 49 is David Hanks, the strong side linebacker from West Palm Beach. A loss of two yards. It will be third down and nine. There's the defensive line for Florida State. Willie Jones coming back from a broken wrist. Mindlin getting a start at defensive tackle today. He is the strongest of the Florida State defensive linemen. The linebackers, Hanks and Herring, both good tacklers. And the defensive backs, Florida State's had a lot of injuries back there. Bonasorte, in particular, a former walk-on, has played very well. This time, the pitch again to Sherlock. Cutting up inside, and on third and nine, Navy played it conservatively. Keith Jones, number 28, the strong safety, made the stop for the Seminoles, and the midshipmen will have a punting situation of their own. The punter is number 90, Art O'Hanion. He's averaging 36.6 yards per kick. Deep to receive, number 28, Keith Jones, the safety man who made the tackle on the preceding play. Jones is standing inside his 20. Good kick by O'Hanion, backing Jones up. And he almost gets back to the 20 is wrapped up at about the 19-yard line, a 46-yard punt by Art O'Hanion. Number 36, Charlie Zingler, a defensive back, was downfield to make the stop for Navy. And so, with 11.48 left in the first quarter, neither team has scored nor gained a first down. Back at Doak Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida, you see the statistics for the season on Wally Woodham, a 57% passer. Kurt Unglaub in the game at wide receiver now to the top of the screen. This time the pitch is to Holmes Johnson. And Johnson, the sophomore tailback from Lake Hamilton, Florida, 187 pounds, only 5 feet 9, is met by Charlie Thornton, the weak side defensive end. Thornton stops him after a gain of 4. It will be 2nd and 6. Steve Davis, Florida State, attempting to establish a running game, as we say in football commentary. Well, they certainly are, and the power structure, the power is starting to work there in the offensive line. They're starting to try to gain the momentum there. Second and seven. Draw play. Johnson again. Navy defense reacts quickly, and again, it was 84, Charlie Thornton, who made the stop. This time, the pickup about three. They need to get the ball to the 29 for a first down, and they're actually only a yard and a half short, so it was a pickup of five. It'll be third and a yard and a half. This program is being brought to you as a special exclusive of ABC Sports. Now let's pause five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. Third down, just over a yard for Florida State. Sam Platt in the ball game split to the bottom of your screen. Woodham gives the number 48, Lyles, the fullback, and Lyles appears to have first down yardage as he pounds it out near the 30-yard line. First carry for Lyles, first first down of the ball game for Florida State. Jimmy, one thing about most passing teams, usually they throw the ball extremely well, but have a kind of a crippled running attack. Florida State's not like that. They have a very complimenting running attack with Lyles and uh, Holmes Johnson in the backfield. Number 29, Platt goes to the top of the screen. Williams, 87, a freshman, or a sophomore, I should say, to the bottom of the screen. Now Woodham completes it to Phil Williams, and Williams is out to midfield. Quick pass, looking in over the middle, pickup of 20 yards, another first down for the Seminoles. Williams has only caught five passes on the season. Wally Woodham drops straight back. It's their quick game, quick look in, right across the middle behind the linebacker and hits Phil Williams, number 87, across the middle. It's called the quick game. Three steps on time, throw the ball. Charlie Myers, the former nose guard playing at cornerback for Navy, number 66, was the man who was covering Williams and made the stop. This is Lyles on first down. He has a pickup of about four down to the Navy 46. Florida State running game will feature Lyles on quick traps and quick pops around the middle. Holmes Johnson, they try to get to the outside with the pitch and the sweep. They do not run the option play. <laughs> they don't want to jeopardize the legs of their quarterbacks, Woodham and Jordan. Both are passing types. Sam Platt to the top of your screen. The give is to Holmes Johnson, and this time he is met at the line of scrimmage and can pick up only about two yards. 
Middle of the Navy defense led by Merrill. The big 250-pound defensive tackle from Port Charlotte, Florida. A man who got away from that man, Bobby Bowden. Came to Florida State after some lean years here in Tallahassee. Five and six in his first year, 1976, and then 10 and two a year ago. Third down, four yards to go. They need to get to about the 40 and a half yard line for a first down. Woodham under pressure. Completes it to Lyle. Or check it to Sam Childers, the tight end. And Childers, the freshman tight end from Tallahassee Leon High School. Falls down short of the first down. So Wally Woodham, the three and a half. Woodham drops straight back. Navy was in a zone immediately right before the snap goes to man coverage. Childers is out by himself. His defender fell down. Number 34, uh, 34 Boblet fell down on the play. But Navy did something that most teams can't do. They start out in zone, immediately go to man. They came up a yard short of the first down as Childers fell down short of that marker. Now Ron Stark is on to punt once again. And deep to receive from Navy is Sandy Jones. Bouncing at the 12, bound at the 13-yard line. Nate Henderson, number 78, the offensive tackle who is the offensive captain of the Seminoles, who's the man who is there down the ball. But a good chip shot punt by Stark. Only 29 yards, but it did the job effectively. And Navy is pinned back at their 13. Now there's timeout on the field. And with 7 minutes, 41 seconds to go in the first quarter, Navy getting ready to begin their second possession. We'll be back. There are the statistics on Bob Lashinsky for this season. A steady operator at quarterback for Navy. Right now in bad field position between the 13 and 14 yard lines. Running backs are Tolbert and Sherlock. Sherlock with the pitch. Ron Simmons, the nose guard, with the big play for Florida State. Loss of four. Ron Simmons can do this because watch him to the left of the screen, number 50 on the pitch sweep. He runs the 40 and 4-5. Ron Simmons is 236 pounds, and he's all over that pitch sweep. Second down, 14 yards to go now for the midshipman. Sandy Jones to the top of your screen. Two tight ends in the ball game. Option pitch is to Tolbert. And he is met and dropped. Number 42 coming up to make the stop is the free safety Francis Bonasorte. Former walk-on from Pittsburgh who played the best game of his life against the Pitt Panthers in his hometown. So now, third down, 10. Based on Navy's offensive operations so far, you would not expect them to throw the ball, even in this, the passing situation. They'll probably just try to get some yardage on the ground to give their punter a little room. Papa John is to the top of your screen. Mashinsky is going to throw. Looking for Papa John, overthrows him. The big six foot four inch freshman went up, but could not get the football. He was being covered by Bobby Butler. Number 21, a sophomore cornerback from Delray Beach, who is an outstanding player. So, Navy is now 0 for 2 on third downs. Hart O'Hanion will come on to punt once again. He hit the first one 46 yards. Jimmy, one thing that's interesting, field position. Florida State's been able to gain yardage after yardage after possession, and now they're going to get great position here uh, on this, this punt. O'Hanion kicks. Keith Milo is standing at his 45-yard line. He comes up to take the punt in Navy territory. Is dumped immediately at the Navy 47-yard line. But just as Steve Davis said, excellent field position for the Seminoles. Frank McAllister, number 71, was downfield to make the stop. It was a 33-yard punt for O'Hanion. Flat and Unglaub are in the ball game as the wide receivers. Platt is to the top of the screen, Unglaub to the bottom. Setbacks remain Lyles and Johnson. Woodham throwing for the tight end, Childers. Childers was bumped a bit on the far side. No flag went down. Jimmy, and a point that must be continually made, the best way the defensive passing football team is make the quarterback, Wally Woodham, he's dropping 10 yards back, but that time Alvin Miller, the nose guard, was all over him, pressuring, making him throw off key, off tempo. It's tough on a passing quarterback. You heard Greg Milo say before the ball game that Navy's objective would be to mix up their defenses and their coverages in such a way that Florida State would not be able to anticipate what was coming. 
second and ten. The give is to Lyles, the fullback. A flag is down as Lyles is met immediately. Alvin Miller, the nose guard, once again is there to make the stop. He's a senior from Little Rock, Arkansas. And there you see that the indication is against Florida State. Had someone jump off uh, sides, Jimmy, just a little bit quick on the uh, snap. A little too anxious. We have a split crew today of officials, some from the southeast, some from the ECAC. That is the referee, W.T. Miller, from Jonesboro, Tennessee. The umpire is Ernest Coano, the linesman, Hunter Jackson, the line judge, George Abdo, the field judge, Jack Workowitz, and the back judge, Joe Reichbaum. And Florida State now faces a third down 12 situation. Navy with five defensive backs in the ball game. Ball still inside Navy territory at the 48. Big draw play. Statue. The give is to Platt. He was almost dumped by number 73, Steve Chambers. And finally, Charlie Thornton wrapped him up. And that is a big loss. Back inside the Florida State 40 to the 38. 14 yards is the lost play was slow developing, Steve Davis. Slow developing, but it shows the intelligence of Navy defense to be able to stay, do what they're supposed to do. There's the, uh, the Platt will get the ball. We missed the initial uh, hit by Chambers, number 73, but finally Charlie Thornton's there to make the stop. So, Ron Stark will go deep to punt again for Florida State. His third punt of the ball game. Sandy Jones is deep to receive for Navy. The rush was on, but Stark got a very high punt away. Jones calling for a fair catch, and he makes it at his 23-yard line. Downfield, or check it, A.B. Miller, number 78, the great nose guard for Navy, put pressure all over Stark and almost blocked the punt, but it was a 49-yard kick for the freshman putter from 50 Lakes, Minnesota, who is a decathlete. Has competed in the, Decathlon, uh, the decathlon for quite some time up in Minnesota. It's still nothing, nothing first quarter, 546 remaining. We'll be back. There is a man regarded by his staff and by other coaches in the game as a master play caller, capable of slicing a defense up. And he will call the Navy offensive plays by alternating tackles. Lezinski passing on first down. Has an open receiver. That is number 85, Matt McLaughlin. And McLaughlin is dropped inside the Florida State 20 by Bobby Butler, the cornerback from Delray Beach, who reacted back downfield to avert disaster. But the pickup on the play is... It's just a play-action pass, first down right across the middle, hits the tight end across the middle behind everybody, and it's a foot race. No one really caught him as he came off the line of scrimmage. From the 23 to the 19, a 58-yard gain on the play. First down for Navy. Option pitch. Sherlock. Dropped as he gets to the 17-yard line. Pickup of two. It will be second and eight. And again, we look at the big pass to McLaughlin. He drops, just drops straight back. He's going right across the middle, splitting the seam. He gets behind the defensive back, number 28, Keith Jones, and then it's just a foot race. Everybody take that first down play, not the tendency of the conservative Navy football team. Papa John to the top of the screen. Second down, Leginski wants to throw. Has Sandy Jones. And Jones is hit immediately down at the five. Bonasorte was there along with Reggie Herring. But a tough catch in traffic by Sandy Jones. Another first down for Navy. First and goal at the six-yard line. Levinsky just rolls away, puts pressure on the coverage, hits Sandy Jones underneath. He came from his wingback position. And just really those middle-range passes right now. Navy's having success putting the pressure on Florida State. Six defensive linemen now in the game for FSU as they bunch up, expecting the running attack in close. Fumbles football. And there to make the recovery is Ron Simmons, the sophomore nose guard who is the key to the Florida State defense. It was Colbert who coughed it up on the handoff from Lisinski. So the Seminoles avert a possible Navy score. With four minutes remaining in the first quarter, 
And the midshipmen make their first mistake. Navy does not make very many mistakes. They've just fumbled a little bit over one time a game, and it's the inside isolation trap handoff, and he just, Ron Simmons is there, punches, punches the ball away from him, and then he recovers the old, uh, his own uh, initial hit, the ball. It was not a contact fumble. Colbert simply did not control the ball. Now, FSU must try to move it from deep in their territory. Ball is right at the seven. Lyles on first down, breaks the tackle and gets out to the nine. Gain of two, it will be second down eight. Lyles from Buffalo, New York, 6'4", 226 pounds, a year ago at this time. The Florida State coaches did not think he was running hard enough. They felt he was running too upright, not breaking tackles. This year, he's learned to lean into things a little bit more and is a harder runner. Williams to the top of the screen on second down. Give us to Holmes Johnson, and he's stacked up. The middle of the Navy defense reacting very quickly to the weak side, number 67, Tommy Thompson, the senior from Phoenix, Maryland, temporarily replacing Miller at the nose guard position. The regular backup middle guard, Terry Huxell, is one of the many injured Navy players who did not make the trip today. Third down, nine yards to go for an FSU first down. Ungloud, the surest handed Seminole receiver, is to the top of the screen. Woodham throwing from his end zone, trying to hit flat. Charlie Myers with the pickoff. Falls down as he gets inside the 35. So Navy takes it right back, and the midshipman will have the football first down just inside the Florida State 35. Big play by Charlie Myers. Wally Woodham is trying to throw the ball to number 29, Sam Platt, across the middle. And he just really underthrows Platt. Myers, number 66, an odd number. He's playing as a cornerback, former nose guard. He's got great speed, and that's his third interception on the season. A junior from Pemberton, New Jersey, has a brother also at the Naval Academy, also on the football team. Give on first down is to Dwayne Dennis. And Dennis, a junior from Willingboro, New Jersey, who is perhaps the quickest of the running backs that Navy has brought along, has a pickup of about four. There again, Wally Woodham dropping back, flat against Myers, underthrows the ball, just underneath him, didn't put enough on it, and Myers, with his great speed, was there to catch the ball. Second down six from just outside the 30. Dennis cuts up inside for good yardage. Down to about the 25. Close to a first down. They need to get the ball just inside the 25 for the first down. Hanks, 49, and Keith Jones, 28, on the tackle for Florida State. Navy likes it. the inside uh, isolation play, the inside trap, and the power sweep. On the power sweep, as they ran just then, they pull everybody. The quarterback, Lazinski, even uh, pulls out there and tries to make some blocks. Third down, less than a yard to go. Setbacks are Dennis and Chris Klein. This is Dennis again. He falls down, short of first down yardage. Had a crushing block out there on the corner, but was unable to capitalize it as he lost his footing in the open field. Now, the man who was standing right next to George Welsh, the Navy head coach in that shot of Welsh you saw a while ago, was number 10, the kicker, Bob Tata. Tata tells Welsh when he believes he is in range to kick a field goal. Right now, it would be from about 43 yards. And that will be exactly what they try. The tee is set at 43 yards away. Leszczynski will hold. Tatum. 5'6 and 160. From Virginia Beach. Just has enough oomph to get it over the bar. And so Navy jumps on top in the ball game. 3 to nothing with 48 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The midshipman capitalizing after the interception by Charlie Myers getting just enough yardage with the running game to get in range for the 43-yard field goal by Tata. And they take what could be a very important 3-0 lead. Coming up on ABC, top stars from ABC, CBS, and NBC shows in what can only be called a show of zany athletic excitement. The Battle of the Network Stars, 1978. Tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 o'clock Central Time, 
over most, if not all, of these ABC stations. And a long list of celebrities will be entertaining you, including Bob Urich from the show Vegas, who in 1964 played football here at Florida State. Burt Reynolds, another former Florida football or Florida State football player, will not be in there. Michael Whiting deep to receive. Tata kicking off for Navy. That is Whiting at the four. Good open field tackle by number 49, Greg Milo. 21-yard return for Whiting. Florida State football first down just outside the 25. 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Jimmy, one thing we've got to say about that drive about Navy, they're a very patient football team, very disciplined. They had three drives. Three downs and punt. Then they had one. They had to fumble, or they did fumble. Then they came back, took the ball, made the mis uh, capitalized the mistake, and made the touchdown. Woodham throwing on first down, complete to Unglaub, and Unglaub has a first down out to the 45-yard line. Number 26, Fred Reitzel, the free safety, a former quarterback from Verona, New Jersey, made the stop. But it's a 20-yard pickup on this pass to Unglaub. We're on Unglaub. It Wally Woodham is just a quick game once again across the middle. Quick look in behind the linebackers. He's hampered a little bit with a knee injury right now. He's well taped up. Gets a good shot there, but hangs on to the football. Hasn't had the kind of year that he had last year because of that leg injury, but he has great hands. Florida State starting to open up now. Woodham drops way back. Now he's under pressure, and Merrill dumps him back at the 40-yard line. Check it. It's Chambers, not Merrill. 73, Steve Chambers, the sophomore from La Mirada, California. And now it will be second down 14 for Florida State. And time has run out. So that's the end of the first quarter with Navy leading at 3-0. When we come back, Florida State will have second down at their own 40-yard line. 